How do you feel about homework? I feel like I'm really glad that I don't have to do it anymore. I never did it. I got real crappy grades. Oh, okay. Hey friends, Lacey and Trace here, and we feel ya, homework is the worst. A new study in the Journal of Experimental Education is on board with student woes too. The research found that too much homework can actually negatively affect the lives of high school kids. What's too much? More than two hours a night. Which still seems like a lot to me, but I'll roll with it. The study explored thousands of California students from high-performing schools in middle-class communities. To give you an idea of one metric of student success, 93% of these students went on to either a two- or a four-year college. The problem was that more than two hours of homework keeps these students from spending time with their families and friends, learning social skills, playing games, and doing extracurricular activities. Homework is cool and all, but you know what? So is being a teenager. Totally. One of the greatest and most important things that I miss about being that age is being relatively stress-free. High school kids aren't physically and emotionally equipped to handle too much stress. The study found that for 99% of them, homework was a stressor, which is okay. It should be a little stressful so you get it mm -hmm. done. But what's striking is that for 56%, it's their primary stressor, more so than tests themselves or the pressure to get good grades. Most of the students also reported sleep deprivation because of their homework. To be clear, we are talking about high schoolers, not college students. Yeah, I remember my little brother when he was in middle school, he'd come home sometimes with two two or three hours of work every night, mm -hmm. which just seems a little intense. Is it necessary to do this for a smart, educated population? I'm glad you asked. The Association for Supervision and Curriculum Development collected studies on homework over the entire last century, and it turns out attitudes about homework are cyclical. Mm. In the early 20th century, homework was thought to improve discipline as well as learning. But by the early 1940s, post-World War II, families thought homework was interfering with family activities. Then by the 50s, Sputnik was launched, and the Soviets were winning the space race, and we were like, oh my god! So education, discipline, and homework back on the kitchen table. Until the space race ended, because by the 1980s, we were fighting against the scourge of homework again. Mm -hmm. Long story short, research shows homework is positively correlated with achievement and success in education, but doing too much can be harmful and stressful. It's a balance. In the end, schools should make sure homework is assigned when appropriate, and that it's not busy work, because that ain't sweet for nobody. Yeah, I had so many teachers who assigned a ton of mindless busy work. You know, there's nothing quite like it to make you hate school. And I think feeling overextended really causes students to shut down instead of stepping up. So you gotta give them a challenge, push them, but not so far that there's no time to develop other non-academic skills. Balance, everybody. So. Let's do less than two hours per night. What do you guys think? Is that the ideal amount of homework or is it something else? Share your thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time.